Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to round three of Mad Madness. Only five games left. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia, home of the Eagles. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Titans, it's the Browns, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Here is the bracket as it exists right now, as Adoree Jackson is ready to return this kick. So Cleveland will kick the ball off to start the game, which means they'll get first dibs to start the second half. And the kick is away. Caught by Weems, who's going to elect to take a knee here and bring the ball out to the 25. Out marches Mariota. He's done all right so far. Two touchdowns, zero picks. And he's going to want a performance like that to beat the Browns here in round three. So here comes the first play of the game. Mariota under center. Running formation for the offense. Delayed handoff to Henry. And Henry gets only two yards out to the 27. And here's the Titans offense. And the Titans beat the Jags 7-3, as well as the Texans 14-11 to, to get here. It's been a bizarre run for the team with Mariota getting more running yards than passing yards in both games. To win today, they have to have the defense they had against the Jags where they only gave up three points and they have to find a way to move the ball better through the air and on third down as they're only four for 13 on third down up to this point and look at number eight Mariota takes it off with his legs 26 yards out to midfield And that's not what you want to see from the Browns. That is one anticipated issue that they did have was they... It was really hard to tell how um, the Browns could counter Mariota. How they would counter it, basically. Mariota, delayed handoff. He's going to throw under pressure towards the sideline incomplete. Had his man for a second, but just over threw the ball. And here's the Browns' defense. And the Browns beat the Bengals 14-7 and upset the Steelers 10-6 to make it to here in the third round. They really have a shot to win this thing, don't they? To win, the Browns will have to keep playing good defense, only giving up one touchdown so far in Mad Madness. They also have to do better on third down. For the, the season, they're 2 for 11 on third down, which is not the best. They definitely need an improvement there. Mariota to Henry. And Henry's going to get about two, so basically a copy-paste of the first play of the game. Here comes a third down, third and eight. First third down of the game for the Titans. Four wide, Mariota showing pass. Mariota throws. And he's got Decker, but Decker drops the pass. Mariota 0 for 2. So from the 45-yard line 
Tennessee will likely have to punt, and that's got to be really frustrating for Titans fans. You get a good gainer, you get that first first down, you get up towards the edge of uh, field goal range, but you can't bring it home. And that's a good kick by Kerr, or Kern. Ball comes out to the seven, where the Browns will do battle. And if you're the Browns defense, you gotta be pretty happy with holding them to a punt. It was looking like a field goal is guaranteed based on how fast they marched down the field, but was not to be. So from their own seven, the Browns will come out. And so will Kaiser. And Kaiser's done pretty well so far. Two touchdowns, zero picks. And he's hoping to keep that interception number at zero throughout this entire game as they hand off to Crowell and on his first carry of the game there's a flag down and it's holding offense so that they'll back up even closer to oh they'll decline it interesting interesting decision by Tennessee because you take that penalty and that makes it sort of a safety situation anyway second and ten draw to Crowell and Crowell has some space slips a tackle before falling down at the 18 So Cleveland has their first first down of the game as well on their first drive. It's thanks to that man right there. Kaiser in the eye. Kaiser to Crowell. And that run's not as productive as the last one by a huge amount. It's a gain of only one. They're going to call that second and nine now coming up. Titans showing blitz. Kaiser hands it to Johnson. And Johnson! What a what strength! What a display by Duke Johnson. Put, slips his way through two guys. Wow! You don't see that very often, and that turns into a first down. So Cleveland, starting on their own, seven have come out and gotten 21 yards on two plays, two runs, three runs. Kaiser to Johnson, and Johnson's got a hole. It's a gain of seven out to the 35, brings up second and three. And that's what happens when you got linemen that can block and That'll just spring your halfbacks to the second uh, level. Three wide. Guys are in the center. Hands to Crowell, who's got a hole, but it's swallowed up quickly. Gain of two, maybe, on the play. Third and one, and this is the Browns' first third down. And as I said earlier, 2 for 11 so far. They really need to start off on the right foot here on this third and one. Running formation for the offense. Kaiser under center. Kaiser to Crowell, who's got a first and a heck of a lot more out to the 50. 
I call him just short of the 50 at the 49. First down, Browns. And so far, the line is really winning the, ba uh, the battle for the Browns. There's less time on the game clock than the play clock. So they don't have to run this play if they don't want to. They'll break huddle anyway. Four receivers to the left. I've never seen this formation. What the? I really hope to come out. <laughs> I want to see what that play is on the other side. 0-0 zero, zero at the end of the first. We'll see if they do that same formation again. We're back. Cleveland has the ball. Tie it at zero. Through the first, start of the second. Browns are at midfield. Tennessee was able to get to about midfield too, but they were forced to punt. Let's see if Cleveland can succeed where the Titans failed. They're going to come out in the eye, unfortunately. <laughs> Kaiser to Crowell. Crowell runs into his own guy, slips away, but only gets a yard. Bad job by Crowell. He ran it to if he cut it to his left just a little bit more, he'd be he'd be gone. They'd be in field goal range easily. Instead, it's only a game of three. Bring up second and seven. So, likely passing situation. Balanced formation for the offense. Takes the handoff. It's Kaiser. Rolls around, steps, and throws. On the run, he's got Coates. Sammy Coates out to the 20. And that's Kaiser's first completion of the game. It's a 27 yarder. So Cleveland seems poised to strike first here in this one. And they are on the edge of the red zone. Right at the 20. Just under six to play in the first half. Four wide for Kaiser. Kaiser to Crowell, who gets about two. So look at the Browns, only one pass. That one was good for 27, but nine rushes. Run again with Duke Johnson. He's gonna get about another two yards, so it'll be third and six. And the Browns really looking for this first down conversion. This is a huge, this is a pretty big play because they can run off a lot more clock if they get this first down. Four wide for Kaiser. Delayed handoff to Johnson. And Johnson. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown Browns. Duke Johnson, his second one of Mad Madness. Excellent design play. Excellent play call. Make them think your quarterback's going to throw it. I'd be it for a second. And then he hands it off. Wide open hole, 316 yards and a touch. So the Browns strike first. Let's see if they can complete it with this extra point. And they can. So 12 plays, 93 yards, seven and a half minutes. Jackson 
must be pretty excited for his team. That first touchdown in playoff football is huge. Tennessee has a chance to respond though here and plenty of time to do it. Just got, got just about four minutes. Caught by Weems, who's going to run it out past the 20 and brought down at the 23. So he would have got more yards if he took the knee. Instead, he takes the hit and the two yard net loss. And here comes Mariota. They're trying to do better than they did on their last drive. Their last drive ended in a punt, so down seven points. You definitely want to get on the scoreboard before half. Cleveland gets the ball to start the second half as well, so touchdown here is would be a huge luxury. Three wide. Mariota to Henry. And Henry runs into some bodies and is knocked down right at the line. It's a game of nothing. So he's at three rushes for four yards. Three and a half minutes left. Three wide. Brown's showing blitz. They will blitz and Henry will, will run and get only a yard. So that brings up a quick third and nine. And the Browns got to be licking their chops. If they can get a stop here, then they can uh, double dip here. Three wide, Mariota in the backfield. He's gonna throw. No, he's not, he's gonna get sacked. Body Calhoun. That brings up fourth and 18. And Cleveland's gonna let the clock run. So Cleveland will get a chance to score before the half and then score to start the second half. And the Titans just created a big mistake. They better hope their defense can bail them out. Turn boots it away. Caught at the 30 by Peppers. And Peppers will be brought down at the 33, or 38, excuse me. And that brings us to the two-minute warning. So Brown's up seven, trying to score before the half. Titans and Browns. Browns up seven. They have the ball with good field position and they get the ball to start the second half so it could be 21 to 0 before Tennessee gets, gets the ball again Tennessee's defense has to be big here to keep Tennessee in this ball game four wide it's Kaiser time in the pocket throws out of bounds, he caught it, but his feet were out, say the refs, and they are right. So second and ten now for the Browns. Stop, stops the clock. And Cleveland's got full timeouts. Full timeouts, minute 51. They have all the time in the world here. Three wide, three in the backfield. Kaiser will throw. Rolls to his right. And that's a catch. Wow. Excellent catch by number 19 there. It's good for 26. And Cleveland's in field goal range. I don't know if that second heel touch. I guess that doesn't matter. 
Couldn't really tell on the front side of the foot, but I'm assuming it was down. Same formation for the Browns. Let's see if Tennessee can stop it after their second attempt. And Kaiser drags the defender, actually, for three yards. So it should have been a sack instead. It's a gain of three. Second and seven now for number seven. Clock running, just under a minute and a half left. Let's see how good Cleveland's clock management skills are here. Four wide. Kaiser throws over the middle, incomplete. Ball was too low for his target. Brings up third and seven. And the Browns, who are two for two in this game, are going to try and make it three for three. Sammy Coates lighting up, lining up in the slot. Titans showing blitz. And they will blitz. Dump off to Njoku. Tennessee takes a timeout. That's not a first down. So Tennessee will have a chance to respawn. Cleveland's forced to settle for three here. All right, we're back. Cleveland getting ready to try and make this a 10-point game. Kicking from the 29. Not a gimme, but still not too bad. It's blocked. Picked up by Cyprian. And he's going to go all the way. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Titans. What a turn of events there. Wow, got the timing, excellent job. And so Tennessee will end up kicking the, the ball and they tie the game at seven. So one minute left in the second and Cleveland just gave up a cheap touchdown. Let's see if they can recover now and get down back down the field. What a play by the Titans. It was starting to look kind of grim. There for a second, but the Titans defense and I mean their special teams finally showed up. Kicks away. 55 seconds left as Peppers takes a knee in the end zone and the free 25. And here comes Kaiser who's got to be disappointed in his field goal unit. It's got to be frustrating to take your team all the way down there and then end up giving up seven. Maybe that'll give him some extra incentive to get the next third down conversion. So Tennessee now. Trying to keep the game tied. Kaiser. Hits Njoku. And Njoku's got six yards on the pickup. Second and four. Cleveland takes a timeout. 
Stops the clock. Tied at seven. All right, we're back. Second and four now. Browns with the ball. I don't know, it's just something about Tennessee. They just find weird ways to win football games. In Madden Madness. He had a pick six in the last game. Kaiser. Pursued. Throws while under pressure and hits Coleman. And are they going to say he caught it? They're going to say no, he didn't. So that brings up third and four now. His second foot came in out of bounds. That's why they said it was incomplete, I think. Titans blitzing. They are blitzing. And Kaisers forces the ball incomplete. Fourth and four now. Cleveland will be forced to punt in Tennessee now. Might have a chance to take the lead before half. Which, honestly, is quite a surprise. I think we're in for a good game. Cole quick kicks. Booming kick. Caught by Jackson. He's going to run it up to about the 25. So 34 seconds left at their own 25. We'll see what Tennessee elects to do as Mariota and the offense come out now. They're not really a deep shot kind of team. We'll see how aggressive they play this. Mariota showing run and they will with Henry and Henry takes a double hit by two defenders drop down for a loss of one and if I'm Tennessee I'm very careful about my next play call if I even call one at all Some teams like to run a play with one second left on the clock, but I don't think they will. They will not, and that'll take us to the third quarter. 7-7 seven, seven ball game, tied at the half. And in Mad Madness, there's no such thing as a halftime. So here we are, quarter number three. Cleveland gets the ball to start. And maybe three minutes of game time ago, Cleveland was in prime position to be up 21 to zero after this drive. Instead, they're just gonna try and get a seven point lead. Titans boot it down the field. Caught by Peppers, who's gonna run it out. Past the 20, past the 25, and brought down at the 28. So three extra yards on the return. And here comes Kaiser, who had a decent first half. Brought his team down the field on two different drives, but one drive ended in a field goal that was blocked in return for a touchdown. So Cleveland could be up 10-0 right now. Instead, it's a 7-7 ball game. Let's see if Kaiser can keep up under the pressure. Four wide. Guys are in the shotgun. He'll throw. Over the middle, it's Njoku wide open. Gain of 20 on the play. And just like that, Cleveland's at midfield.
great call by the offense. Ball's thrown a little bit behind him, but he's so wide open. I mean, he could throw anywhere, and he'll have plenty of time to catch it. Kaiser, Coleman, six yards. Second and four now. And I'm surprised the referee didn't see that jump off sides there by Tennessee. So they're lucky that Cleveland was only able to get six yards on that play for the cost of the down. Instead, it could have been second and five, or first and five. Kaiser coming out to the line under center. Crowell gets the ball and gets about two. So that's going to set up third and short now. And the Browns are on the edge of field goal range. Two for four so far, trying to make it three for five. Three wide. Guys are in the shotgun, going to hand it to Crowell. And Crowell right at the line. We'll see what they say. Fourth and inches. So Cleveland's got a decision to make. Try the long field goal. Punt it. Or go for this fourth down. I don't think punting it is a realistic expectation. See what they like to do here. They're going to try the long field goal. Pick is up, and it's short and wide right. And that's going to give Tennessee the ball at the 46. So Cleveland has <laughs> blown six points off the board and given seven to Tennessee after going up seven zip. We'll see if Tennessee now can take the lead with four minutes left in the third. And early on, it seemed like the Browns had firm control of this game, but instead, Tennessee's been able to hang around. We'll see if they can take this moment to spring into the lead. Ariota fakes the handoff. He's going to throw here. Rolls to his right. Up the field. He's scrambling. He's got a first where he's going to slide down right on the far side of the line to make it first and ten again. Out at the 44 now are the Titans. And that's what Mariota's been doing since the beginning of Mad Madness. Scrambles a lot better than he throws. And he scrambles a lot better than his receivers can catch. We'll see if Cleveland can make an adjustment on defense. Mariota to Henry, and Henry's got a hole. Henry's got to dodge one defender. He can't, but it doesn't matter. That's their best run of the game so far and the Browns look at that nearly doubling the Titans time of possession but the scores tied and I said it earlier but the Titans have to figure out a, in order to win this game they have to figure out a way to move the chains consistently and find a way to move this ball down the field to Henry and Henry's going to get maybe three. And that'll make it a third and three. And the Titans, who haven't converted yet on third down, are going to tr try and convert this thing. It's been their best chance at a third down conversion so far as the clock hits two minutes left in the third. Browns showing blitz. They will. 
Mariota rolls to his right, steps up the field. He's got a first. He's got a heck of a lot more than that. Out at the 13. So Mariota three rushes for 61 yards. That's a 25-yard run to add or to create that 63. And once again, Mariota has many more rushing yards than passing yards. And that's their first third down conversion of the game. And if I'm Cleveland, I'm going to cr create a QB spy and just have him on every single down. If he can lock down Mariota's run, try and make him beat you with his arm, could be some trouble. Mariota under center, showing run. It is a run, it's Murray. And Murray gets about three on his first carry. Brings it out to the 10, so second and seven. Miles Garrett gets credit for that tackle. Just under a minute to play in the third. Winner moves on, loser goes home. Three wide, it's Mariota. Looking at Cleveland's blitz, and he's going to throw for the end zone, and he's caught for a touchdown. Eric Decker, his first touchdown of Mad Madness. And the Titans will take the lead. And slants can be really deadly if used in the right way down here deep in the red zone. So Cleveland, after being up 7-zip, has left six points on the field. And now they've left the lead on the field. And Tennessee snatched it. 14-7 Tennessee. So Jackson has to figure out how to get his team back in gear. Only seven and a half minutes left in this game. And caught by Peppers, takes the knee. And this is Cleveland's biggest deficit so far in Mad Madness. Their next closest was a three-point deficit against the Steelers. And those of us who watch know how that one ended up. Let's see if they can overcome seven points. Browns break huddle, and Kaiser comes out under center. I think it's going to be a false start, flag down on the field. And it's really not Kaiser's fault for all these mistakes. He really hasn't made any mistakes. It's been the special teams unit, and really the defense has done a decent job too holding them to seven points on offense just special teams are killing Cleveland right now Kaiser throws and Coates has it for a second but the hit jars it loose second and 15 now I think Tennessee is smelling blood. If they can get a stop here and get down the field and score another touchdown, this game might be over. If nothing else, they'll be in prime position to win this game. Kaiser to Crowell, and Crowell 
can't get free. He's taken down after a one-yard gain. So third and 14 now for the Browns. Third and 14, here we go. On the other side of the quarter change. Brown's in trouble, down seven. Titans with the lead, seven, or up seven, 14 to seven. All right, here we are. This is when things get good, start of the fourth. Third and 14, Cleveland down seven. Kaiser trying to make some magic happen. Tennessee smelling blood. We'll see who can win this third down. Biggest play of the game so far. Four wide for Texans or Titans showing blitz. Kaiser. Rolls to his right, throws down the field toward the sideline. It's caught. No, it's not. He got his hands on the ball, but his feet weren't down, so that'll bring up fourth down. And that's got to be heartbreaking. The ball was in his hands. I want to see a replay of that. Cole quit to punt, kicks away. Caught at the 23 by Jackson, who's gonna move it up to about the 31. Seven or eight yards on the return, and Tennessee now has a chance to put this thing away if they can get a touchdown. 14 points in the fourth quarter, that's pretty tough to do, so meaning Cleveland would have to, have to get 14 points to tie. So they'd really have to get at least 17 points unanswered to come back if Tennessee can get this touchdown. Three points would be great too. Makes it a two possession game. See what Tennessee can do here on first down. Mariota fakes the handoff. He rolls to his right. Throws, dumps it off to his receiver. He's only got nine yards passing, one touchdown though. Zero passing yards allowed for the Browns. And yet Tennessee finds itself up seven in firm control of this game. It's bizarre. Bizarre offense. Inside zone likely here. And it is, it's Henry. He's brought down after a two-yard pickup. Third and eight now for the Titans. Four wide. It's Mariota. And slips a tackle, throws, and it's caught by Decker. And Decker's brought down, but there's a flag on the field too. What a huge play on that third down. That's the play of the game right there. Jamar Taylor. So that adds another 15 yards, and that brings the ball out to the 15 inside Cleveland's red zone. So two plays so far. What I'm gonna think of this game. That play right there and Cleveland's or in the Titans block field goal. And it's caught for a five yard gain. 
Second and five coming up. And Cleveland really needs to hold them to three here. Ten points in the fourth is not unheard of. Fourteen is really tough, especially for a team that has only won one game in the last two seasons. It's Mariota. Toward the red zone. Or end zone, I mean, and it's nearly intercepted by Bello. Dropped the pick, and instead it brings up third and five, and that could have been game-changing right there. In his hands. But the reason they play defense is because they can't catch, so. Third and five coming up. Two for four so far, trying to make it. Three for five. Mariota will throw. It's Douglas who's wide open. And he gets the first. Out at the two yard line. And that brings up first and goal. So Tennessee now. In firm control of this in firm control of this game. Ideally for them, they'd get in on third down. That would run about another minute and a half or so. <laughs> right into the pilot camp. Uh, that's funny. Here we are at the goal line. Mariota to Murray. And Murray gets maybe an inch or two. Cleveland gets the stop they need. Second and goal. They need to do that two more times. And we're just at about four minutes left. Mariota to Murray. Quick toss and Murray can't get away. So two rushes. Zero net yards. And that's a good play call. They load the box, so you try and quick toss it out. Try and run around the box, but Cleveland saw that coming. So here we go, third and goal. Getting late in this one. Cleveland needs to have a perfect game from here on out. Mariota to Henry. And Henry saw daylight, but ultimately swallowed up by the Browns. So, goal line stand. Part one of the Browns comeback complete. And that makes the Titans three for six on third down today. Just under three to play now. As Tennessee is gonna try and run as much clock as possible before this kick. And it's good. So that makes it two scores. Cleveland needs to get down the field, score a field goal or a touchdown without using any timeouts. They still have the two minute warning. And then they need a three and out. And then they need either a touchdown or a field goal to win it or force overtime. Kicks away. Caught by Coates. He's going to take a knee in the free 25. Save some time on the clock. And if I'm Cleveland, if I'm that kid right there, I'm treating this like it's 29 seconds before halftime and I'm just trying to get a field goal. Because if you can get a field goal before the two-minute warning, that's an extra clock stoppage. 
which could come in handy when you're trying to defend on the other side. That's what I would do. We'll see what Kaiser tries to do here, or Jackson. Balance formation for the offense. Kaiser. Rolls. Throws. And it's caught at the 50. Perfectly done. Clock stops, and that play only took five seconds. If they can just do that and get the touchdown before the two-minute warning, then they'd be in business. 25-yard gain. Look at that footwork. Wow. All right, here we go. Cleveland playing for their lives. Kaiser. Brought down, but there's a flag on the field. And that's another 15 yards for no time. So Cleveland has, has uh, gone 50 yards in just about 10 seconds. And they're well within field goal range. So if I'm Cleveland, this is what I do. Take one shot. Try and spike it before the two-minute warning. Kick the field goal. And then try and get a three and out with four clock stoppages. Kaiser. Throws, and he's got Gordon, Josh Gordon. First down, clock running. And I think they're just going to let this go down to the two-minute warning. And they will let it go to the two. Let them get some extra time to think about this next play. Here we are. This is where legends are made. 17-7. to seven. Kaiser trying to make something happen. Alright, we're back. 10-point game. Here in Lincoln Financial. Cleveland with the ball down 10. Five yards from the red zone. Kaiser takes. And he throws a pick. It's Morgan. And that should just about seal it. That's his first interception of Mad Madness. And that's just going to completely kill any chances for Cleveland for coming back in this ball game. So Tennessee in really good shape to move on to the fourth round. Well, if Cleveland doesn't win this game, they can't be too upset. They've won one they've more won more games in Mad Madness than they've won in the past two seasons. So I'd be very proud they beat the Steelers, who are not a bad team by any any means. Henry. Timeout Cleveland.
right, second and nine. Tennessee up ten, trying to turn this game into a victory. They're pretty much there. They just have to make sure they don't have any cheap turnovers. Any fumble returns for touchdowns or interceptions, although I don't know why they would throw the ball. Cleveland takes another timeout. Third and six on the other side. If Tennessee can get this first down, they could pretty much run most of the clock out. But if Cleveland can get the stop here, maybe they can rush down the field, get a touchdown or a field goal, and then get an onside kick. But we're kind of in desperation mode. Down 10 on the short side of the two-minute warning. All right, to basically seal this one. It's Mariota. They're going to throw. And it's caught by Davis. Cleveland's going to take their final timeout. So 17 unanswered for Tennessee. Cleveland is now out of timeouts after scoring the in their initial seven. And it should just be a couple of runs. Cleveland might get a few Hail Marys in, but that's going to do it. Henry breaks a tackle, and everyone's chasing him. Biggest run of the game. Henry finally breaks through. And just like that, Tennessee's in field goal range, although they won't need to do it. And Cleveland won't see the ball again. That's going to be the end of the game, basically. And let's take a look at the bracket really quick. There you see it. Tennessee will move on. Only one spot left. Seahawks and Cowboys are up next. As the clock just counts down to zero. One more snap and that'll be it for Cleveland's run. Victory formation, takes the knee, that's going to be it, clock is winding down, five seconds left, four, three, and that's it. So there we have it, the Titans will win 17-7, to and they'll get to move on to the next round. So was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see the Titans in their next game, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out the link in the description to see what the next game is. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying have a good one.